Since its invention, plastics have become ubiquitous in our daily lives, from our food to our healthcare. You're probably familiar with structural plastics that are used in cutlery, bottles, and even furniture. But plastics can also be designed with unique functions by simply manipulating the chemical structure. These types of plastics are used in medical applications to design antibacterial coatings, birth control patches, and sensors that detect diseases efficiently. However, the big challenge with plastics today is pollution. Plastic waste is not easily biodegradable. Moreover, they have to be made using petroleum products. For this reason, we have started replacing structural plastics like cutlery with biodegradable alternatives that are made from naturally derived substances. But can we do more? How can we use naturally derived substances to design functional materials for medical applications? This was the question that I asked at the start of my PhD. The answer? Proteins. Proteins are natural polymers, meaning they have a similar chemical structure to plastics. More importantly, nature designs them with unique functions that govern all life processes. Plus, they're inherently biodegradable and generally safe, making them ideal for medical applications. The big challenge with proteins, though, is that they dissolve really well in water. So you can imagine what happens to a protein-based material when I stick it inside a human who is 70% water. Our solution to this is called florist curing. It's actually really similar to frying an egg. You see, egg whites are made up of proteins. When you heat up an egg during frying, these proteins unravel and become insoluble due to a process known as denaturation, as shown by the red arrow. But when a protein denatures, it also loses its unique function. Our technology uses a special oil that protects the protein from denaturation while making the material insoluble in water, as shown by the green arrow. In this way, we're able to retain the protein structure and its unique function while making water-stable materials. So what can we do with this technology? Well, in my research, I used a protein that can prevent bacteria from sticking to the surface to design antibacterial coatings. This protects medical implants from bacterial contamination and you from a very bad infection. I've also used proteins that enhance cell growth to design wound healing patches. I can also use many different proteins simultaneously to design complex devices for diagnostic tools. The best part about all this is that you can do this with naturally derived materials that are sustainable, biodegradable, and safe.